I am not a religious man. I think all religions are made up for people to make money. I, I really do, whether Catholicism, Judaism, whether Mormonism, whether it's, you name it, the Muslims, all of it. It's all about money. It's all about business. And when business tries to force itself on the people, I disagree and I get mad at religions, whether all, all religions. But if you can live like by yourself, like the Amish do, or the, the Mormons, well, don't really bother people, but they do knock on everyone's doors, don't they? Looking for more money. If they're looking for people, you're looking for more money. So anyways, to get over this, and I, when I've talked in the past, I've talked about um, cats and dogs, knowing when you see aliens or things are inside your house. This. And my dog was one of them. I mentioned that in my other videos. My dog has not been well. But it's not like he was on serious death rows. The last night for over an hour and a half, he was doing this, running around, getting by my leg, looking up and down, looking over here. And after that, uh, he started having some major issues. And so much so, I was up until 5 o'clock this morning when he finally passed. And uh, so I know he's in a better place. I am sad. I, I'll, I miss my dog. I love my dog. It's funny, though. Um, I've been checking out... I do read different things about different religions. And I've been checking out this, um, the Gnostic Bible, the Book of Thomas. And I like how he explains, like, when I talk about going up in a spaceship and looking at different dimensions, like, I go through one door, and, like, they pick me up. They just... It's like, I'm still on the bed, but yet I'm with them. And I, it's, I'm there. I can see my hand. And, but yeah, I never left my bed. Because I've mentioned this other videos because my girlfriend's in bed and she's awake because she knows they're there too. And now we both have the same dreams. We have both of us fall asleep. We'll both have 95% of the same dreams. And it happens numerous times. So I'm just saying there is nothing special with me. Uh, I, am, I am nobody. But what I'm trying to tell you is the heaven that you look to for to come is already here because it's all around us. It just changes like this. Your soul passes and it's going like that, like light. Because this is how I feel. When you read the, the book of Thomas, you can check it out on YouTube, this thing. And it, you know, it's no sayings. It's not a boring read. It just, it's just how he explains. There's a couple sections in there. How he explains where... You go to the light, and the light just takes you and moves you into another space. And what you see is, what you expect is not real. It's all in the light. It's what, I'm under the rock, I'm behind the tree. It's all true, because they just pick up, move you. The, it's so, if you find it a lost religion-wise, it's, there is a God. It's not the guy with the beard you're thinking of. And because you, and, he, and this is the book of Mark, even, even, Thomas even says this. What you seek is not there. It's, it's interesting. You, if you check it out, if you find yourself at a loss or bored, the agnostic, the book of Thomas is an interesting reading. It explains pretty much how I explain things that they do. Who knows? Maybe they are it. And that's what they were trying to explain all along the burning bush and all this stuff and follow the star to Bethlehem and even with the Jewish Bibles, every, all, the, all the stories mentions lights, ladders, flying spaceships, even the Egyptians did it. Everyone's mentioned them from the 1700s, 1500s to Jericho's walls to Jacob's ladders. How else would you explain it? And what I'm telling you is it's, it's all good, brother. That's what I'm telling you. So enjoy your day. Stay safe. There's a lot more people dying out there. You know, I don't care what you think about me. Because I don't care. I'm me. Do you like yourself? Have fun. Bye-bye.